Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, somebody asked me a question about screen resolution and the size of text and of pretty much everything on the computer screen. As we're having bigger screens, as we're having screens with much higher resolutions, one of the biggest problems that come with that is when your resolution is very high, if there's no adjustments done, text can become and icons and everything can become extremely small on your screen. So people have a tendency, and I've seen this many times, and actually the question from the viewer is, I change my screen resolution, but I find that things don't look very good. So your screen has an optimal resolution, and that is where you should always be, whatever size of the screen. When I see people saying, well, I got a 60 inch screen, I don't use a PC, you can't read on that. That's because you just don't set the screen right. The screen can be adjusted, and I have my PC on my 65-inch uh, Samsung TV in the living room. I can tell you it's easy to read even from 20 feet away. It's all a question of adjusting the screen parameters okay. Where are they and what can you set? First, in Windows 11, you'll go into your Start menu and to the Settings. You can right-click and go into Settings also. Here, the first option is Display. Click the Display, and it's going to tell you a few things. First of all, the display resolution. The one that should always be chosen is the one that is recommended for the screen you have. Mine is 1920 by 1080. That's the recommended resolution. It'll work on other resolutions. It won't look as good. The precision of the display and of the screen goes with the resolution or the amount of pixels that you have on that screen. I always choose the recommended option. From there, you have other options that are available to you. And one of them is scale. The scale that you see here, 150%, is chosen for the purpose of YouTube videos. Um, you can change that scale to whatever is recommended. In this case, they recommend that I keep a scale of 100%, which makes things very small. So I, of course, have changed it for two reasons, my eyes and also uh, for the display purpose of you know making videos and stuff like that. So I'll go to 150. Now, keep in mind, changing this also changes the amount of information your screen will have at the same time. Choosing too big of a scale might actually be a problem. So what you could do is choose the scale. For example, let's go to 100%. But in there, you can actually change other options. And in the other options is if you click, you have text size. And here you can play with the text size instead of the scale of what is happening on your screen. That will actually give you a much bigger and much easier to read uh, text everywhere. So once you click the apply button, it'll take a certain time for this to actually apply itself to all the text and everywhere in Windows, depending on the machine you have. Once it's done, once this is actually applied, you'll see that the text size will reflect what you've chosen. So it's all a mix of text size, screen resolution, and you can see the, what happens after that. So text size is very important. Um, this And there's also all sorts of uh, different things that can happen in your display. So you've got text size, you can change the um, you know mouse pointer size. You can change all sorts of things here depending on what you want to do. So choose wisely what uh, size you want. The scale has one advantage is that it will actually also scale the taskbar. One of the biggest issues I see with people is well, the taskbar is kind of small. You can scale and if you scale that taskbar is going to be much bigger. I get that question all the time. How come your, you know, your uh, your taskbar is so big? Mine is super small. Well, it all has to do with the way you scale. So, what I recommend is mostly play with the scale. 
in the scale if you click you can play with the text size and you can of course make it bigger so that even though that scale is um, you know not that big the text can be easier to read it's all a question of the different um, options the other thing is once you're in the text size mouse pointer and touch you can click here you can change your mouse pointer size here we go you can have your mouse pointer I like to have it reversed meaning I'll click here so when it's a uh, light background it's dark mouse pointer and in a, da a dark background it becomes a white mouse pointer so these are options that could be very very nice of course I exaggerate a lot of my settings because, once again, of the options for um, making videos. So you guys can see what I'm doing and pointing. Uh, it's going to be easier for you guys to see it. So it's all different things you can play around and keep everything in scale, in the proper size, but without actually compromising your display resolution and keeping it to the optimum recommended resolution. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.